I didn't look at them, but I could tell when I heard them speak that they're that Italian. Italians, <laughs> Italian, or very expressive. Oh, yeah. People like us, people just smiling at us. Hola! Soft love, hey? Swimming in the Mediterranean. Look for a good paella. Not paella, paella. <laughs> Having exhausted most of the things to do in Barcelona, we opted to explore a small neighboring town called Sitges. To get there, we bought round-trip tickets from the ticket vending machines at Barcelona San Estacio train station. Okay, go to 11 or 12. Yeah. Down the stairs? Yeah. 11 and 12, yeah. Sitges is a town that is popular for offering an authentic Catalan experience that is not as touristy as Barcelona. The beaches are not as crowded as the ones we visited in Barceloneta. The town has a relaxed and laid-back atmosphere with a focus on outdoor activities, beaches and a local culture. Yeah. We've taken a train and I think it passes by the airport. Because Barcelona is so touristy, so we like to eat the, like the proper, proper food and stuff. And you at the beach where there's no beach. Yeah. Barcelona was empty. And also quieter beaches. It's hot. So yeah. No. Check how the majority of the train had such yeah. people. And everybody has a big bag. Yes! In Sitges, one of the most important architectural styles is called Modernisme. It is a kind of Art Nouveau that was trendy in the late 1800s and early 1900s. You can see the style in many buildings in the town which have curved 
natural shapes and fancy decorations like stained glass windows, wrought iron balconies and ornate facades. Another notable style in Sitges is the Mediterranean Revival, which was popular in the early 20th century and was inspired by the traditional architecture of the Mediterranean region. Buildings in this style typically feature wide stucco walls, red roof tiles, and arched windows and doorways. It is common to see older people drinking coffee at the coffee shops in the mornings in Sitges, for since Sitges is a popular destination for retirees and older individuals who have chosen to live in the town due to its relaxed pace of life, pleasant climate and welcoming community. There are many beautiful beaches in Sitges, but we chose to relax at the Placha de la Fragata beach. This beach is located in the historic center of Sitges and is known for its calm waters and picturesque city. Soft life, eh? Swimming in the Mediterranean, chilling and having a chill day for the first time you know a holiday because day two day three you're already pushing something somewhere but we decided oh, let's just go into a little town i'm actually looking up for nice restaurants because i being a foodie that i am need to eat proper food <laughs> Getting into the water, Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> Dude is on a mission on all the different seas that you can get. Hola! Mediterranean say citrus or citrus or something like that. Guys, yeah, it's not Afrikaans. Citrus or something. Yes, something like that. We don't know yeah. the Spanish. Yeah, or but it's a, it's a small Spanish town. No, what? No. The Mediterranean. Some of us are looking <laughs> in here because I don't have okay my contact lenses are just not lazy and I can't really put my big hair in the water it'll take forever to dry probably actually quicker than normal because the Spanish heat is a lot but I'm like I'm not about getting these thick braids wet so we are swimming three quarters of the body basically but I think I like my style um the sunglasses. The <laughs> water is very warm, you cannot get this in Cape Town. We would not have gone through body in Cape Town. Durban is crowded. I've never been to the I've never taken a body in it. So yeah, so this is quite nice. Love it. It's like Mauritius similar. Yeah, Mauritius water is warmer though. Actually yeah, Mauritius is warmer than this. So but I this you get used to it. The Indian Ocean is warmer than the Mediterranean. Yeah. Because we're cool. close to Atlantic, eh? You know, Atlantic is cold. <laughs> Sawadee Khan. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Hola. Hola. And one thing you'll notice is a lot of foreigners here. Foreigners meaning people who are not from Spain. Eh? Because a lot of British I'm not people. from Spain. British, I can tell. French also. You hear with the way they express it. Italians. Yes. Go to Italy, guys. Like, oh my gosh, I love. Just so there was people sitting behind us. I didn't look at them, but I could tell when I heard them speak that they, that they were Italians. Italians, <laughs> Italian, very expressive. Oh, yeah. People like us. We were just 
The Sitges Promenade is a scenic walkway that runs parallel to the beaches of the Placha de Sitges. The promenade stretches for several kilometers, offering beautiful views of the sea and the Sitges coastline. The promenade is lined with palm trees, colorful flowers and benches, making it a perfect spot for a leisurely stroll or to sit and take in the scenery. It is worth noting that each of the beaches in Sitges has a unique character and attracts a different type of crowd. For example, San Sebastian Beach tends to be popular with families and couples, while Playa de la Ribera is known for its lively atmosphere and attracts a younger crowd. On the other hand, Placha del Estagnon is a more secluded beach and tends to be frequented by nature lovers and those seeking a quieter, more peaceful beach experience. Another notable aspect of the Sitges beaches is the presence of beach bars and restaurants along the promenade. Many of the beaches have their own beach bars where you can grab a drink, snack, or even a full meal while enjoying the sun and the sea views. At the end of the day, we walked back to the train station and we waited for the next train to Barcelona. There's something truly special about visiting a town like Sitges. It's a place where time seems to stand still, where the beauty of the surrounding nature and the warmth of the local people combine to create an unforgettable experience. Whether it's the vibrant colors of the flowers along the promenade, the sound of the waves crashing against the shore, or the sight of the old town's winding streets and charming buildings. Sitges has a way of captivating the senses and touching the heart. And then another 10 euros for the umbrella, which is very helpful because the sun can, like, it's bad. You know, we have African sun, then I don't know what it is. It's harsh. Oh, yeah, one other thing we were supposed to do the catamaran yesterday, but we're late. Like, two, three minutes late. We saw the catamaran leave because we're late. And then we said we'd go back again today. But because the vibe in the city gets was so nice, we decided not to do the catamaran. We just go do up the trail for the sunset. And right now it's like 1947, and the sun is far from setting. So yeah. And also, I went on a hunt for a very good paella. Finally found amazing Spanish food in the small town. So we always recommend try the small little suburbs neighborhood outside the city. You find amazing food. In a world where everything seems to move so fast, taking the time to slow down and appreciate the beauty of a small town like Sitges can be a truly transformative experience. I like Barcelona. So far, 10 minutes in Madrid, I like Barcelona better. Oh, we just got off the train. It was a three minute ride. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. We are in Hall of Madrid. 